Hi, this is Anthony Wilkinson, and uh, I just want to show you a couple of things. I just got my, well, I didn't just get a couple days ago, I got my IDE 64 in the mail. I'm having a couple issues, so I'm just going to record this quick video. Um, I've got two Commodore 64 consoles, and I'll sh kind of show you the issues that I'm having with both consoles. And uh, maybe we'll see if there's something I can do, or if I've got to send it back. So, um, there they are. Here's my controller. I've, I had a 5-volt battery in, or not 5-volt battery, a, was it 3-volt battery? Took it out. Memory card, uh, S, yeah, compact flash card took it out. So I'm just going to put the unit into my Commodore. <clears throat> That's a bit of a, a bit of a hard fit. Commodore 64s are known for having fairly uh, tight cartridge slots, I guess you could say. Alright, so it's in. I don't have any peripherals connected right now, just the monitor. So you can see that the this one lit up and this is the error I've got. If I go to the other console, So this console is the one I had since I was a kid. It's a little bit more beat up. See the stickers missing, and for some reason that's got a lot of play in it. Anyways, so I turn it on. I get this. I have no idea what that is. It's a bunch of special characters, and if I hit any buttons, I get basically a lock on the console. So what else? I've um, uh, I cleaned the contacts on both cartridge slots. I have two different power supplies now. They're both uh, original Commodore ones. The one I, one I got used, and I don't know how old it is, and the one I had it was basically sat in the box for like the last 10 years so it hasn't seen much use. So I've tried both power supplies. Symptoms were the same for both units. Um, what else? Yeah, so basically I, that's basically all I did was I cleaned the cartridge slot contacts in both units and tried different power supplies and the symptoms are the same basically. This one unit gets that far in hard locks and the other unit gives me the stack error. So um, I don't know if that's helpful to anybody but if you've got any solutions I'd like to hear from you. So take care. Thanks. I also forgot to mention that the cartridge slot is working. You can see you've got DC's Quest for Tires and Omega Race and Lazarian, which is probably the worst game ever. <coughs> and it's the all cartridges seem to work fine. So I'm assuming that means the cartridge slot is fine. The cartridge contacts didn't have any uh, 
I didn't see any corrosion on them, so there you go.